Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Kinsey. If you did not know that, now you know and you guys today I'm going to be talking to you all about my curated ears. So until then just wait. If this is your first time ever seeing me, then hello and so happy to have you. My name is Kinsey. I make a lot of videos about luxury handbags, luxury fashion, travel, jewelry, but mostly handbags. I really like those. But today we are talking about my ear piercings. But if any of that sounds fun to you, if you like the idea, then I would ask you to consider clicking the subscribe button and give this video a like and ding the little bell down there so that you're notified every time I upload. And without any further ado, let's get on into the video. Oh, uh, you guys, it took me like a good 10 minutes to get that intro correct because I'm still really, really sick. My ears are so stopped up. I cannot hear myself at all. I sound insane. So I'm so sorry again if this video was just like not at like tip top shape. I am struggling. <laughs> Okay, yes, I have completed my curated ear journey. Honestly, I don't even know how well this video is gonna do. It probably will do very well because like, who wants to hear about ears? <laughs> I don't know, but I actually saw this video first. Well, from a few people actually. I saw them all over Instagram, like people having multiple ear piercings and doing stuff like that with their ears. And I thought it was cool. Sophie Showhead was the first one that I saw like actively getting the piercings and like, having a lot of piercings but then Caitlin Poloski was actually the one that I saw like more talking about it I watched her video on how she like healed multiple piercings at the same time I was like oh well this is like super cool so I really kind of started getting into the whole ear piercings about a year ago and up until last year I only had my single holes like my my lobes done the week before I went to Italy up until now it's just been like let's get a piercing let's get a piercing let's get another piercing so I've been kind of going nuts with it but I am fully completed now and I'll show you what I have. I'll tell you where I got them done. I will tell you where the jewelry's from. I'll give you my own little tips and stuff with healing multiple piercings. Do I think getting multiple piercings at the same time or like relatively close to the same time is a good idea? All that good stuff, but uh, disclaimer, I am 1 million percent not a piercer. I'm not an expert on body modification or anything like that. This is just my personal experience. Take what I say with a grain of salt and definitely consult a professional before actually doing any of this stuff. So let me show you mine. I have to come up close to the camera here. So this is on my left side and this is my newest one. As you can see, it's still healing. I still have a little bit of bruising up here, but it's not too bad. I've got my lobe done. I've got my second holes. I've got my third holes. I've got my conch and then I've got this like kind of helix kind of conch piercing the these two are definitely still healing the conch and this piercing so that is my left ear my right ear i really hope you're going to be able to see these because i hope they're in focus and i cannot tell if they're in focus so i have the same lobe i have the same uh, second piercing and third piercing and then i have this my conch thing right here. This is actually not a piercing. This is this is just something that I put on there to kind of look cool. I kind I like it there. And then I have my helix pierced up here. And this one is still healing. This is the newest one on the right side. And this is just very very pretty. I like it a lot. This one up here, I had to get my husband to help me get in focus because I cannot tell. Um, this one up here is by Stone and Strand. This one, I actually forgot where this one is by. You can just get them on Amazon. The little moon and the one I have on my lobe here is from Ana Luisa. Very, very cute. And then the one on my second holes, again, I want to say it's from Elizabeth Stone Jewelry. I think that is what I said the last time and then uh same with this uh these two i actually got the piercer here that did my conch piercing she actually sourced this one for me i sent her a picture and i was like oh i want something like this it's so cute so she found this one for me and then this one i actually got while i was in new york and i got this done it's studs i can go over like pain and stuff like which ones hurt the most so for my lobes i got them done when i was like nine i actually got them done pretty 
I guess late in life. <laughs> I don't know. But those ones didn't hurt at all. I got them done at Claire's before Claire's like, you know, got boycotted for doing a really bad job at piercing. <laughs> but no, they're, they're fine. Um, and then my second holes, I didn't get done until last year. And I actually did my second holes. I will never uh, condone doing your own piercings because you should never do that. Um, but, you know, I, I did and I ordered a piercing kit from Amazon. Yeah, I know. I know. C crucify me in the comments. But I know. I know. I should not have done it, but I did anyways. It healed fine. Everything is good. So yeah, I did those myself and I haven't done any other ones myself since then. Uh, and then my third ones I actually got while I was in Italy last year, last summer, or out in Rome, and I was like, I wanna get my piercing, I wanna get my third holes done. And uh, he was like, okay. And he wanted to get a piercing too while we were there. So we both got piercings together, it was very cute. And then I didn't really get any other ones until <clears throat> recently. The one that I got, I actually got all of these within like two months, I think. <laughs> I don't know if that is a, a good thing to do. Maybe some people would be like, wait a little longer in between. But I'm just like, no, I wanted to get it done. Uh, the first one that I got in the past couple of months was my conch. And let me tell you right now, this one, out of every single piercing that I have, this one is the one that hurt the most. It hurts so bad, and I don't understand why it, well, I guess I do. I mean, the conch area of your ear is really freaking thick and hard. So like, I do understand how it hurt. Seven out of 10, getting it done. And then the aftercare on this thing was really, really bad as well. It got so swollen, like it hurt so bad for about three days. Day three was the worst. Even when I was trying to sleep, it would just be throbbing and just like just so painful if you're gonna get the conch done I would probably just recommend preparing a little bit or something maybe taking like a day or two off work because it's gonna swell so so bad uh, well for me anyways for me it swelled a lot nothing could be touching it like my hair I kind of had to like pull my hair back on this side because my hair couldn't touch the back of it or the front or else it would just be really painful so yeah that was the conch now it's good now it's it's not fully healed yet but it's definitely on on the way to being fully healed and then after after that, I got this one up here. I got my helix done on my right ear three weeks after, um, and uh, that one didn't hurt at all. I, that one was really easy. I got the jewelry again from Stone and Strand, and it was like a piercing jewelry. Um, this one's like a push pin. It was a breeze. It was super fine. It didn't hurt at all for me, anyways. Maybe like a two out of ten did not hurt. The aftercare was relatively easy i mean i know the helix can be kind of finicky or that's what i've heard but to me it hasn't had any problems i still use saline on all of my new piercings it didn't swell all that much it kind of just got a bit purple and you know like black and blue purple bruising for a few days other than that it was fine and then my last piercing that i did get done was the one in New York and this one actually has been kind of a problem like as you can see right here it's actually looking a lot better it's just a bit green but two days ago and like one day ago this was like brown not brown <laughs> this was like really purple and red and everything I guess getting this part pierced kind of affects this top area but yeah this one actually did not hurt too bad either it did hurt more than the helix so I'd probably say like this one was like a four out of five and the helix was a two out of five. I think this one hurt a little more is because because it's kind of in like a weird spot, but I think it's really, really cute and I like it a lot. But those are all of my ear piercings and the pain. Uh, oh, I also didn't say the three low piercings did not hurt whatsoever. Zero out of 10 or like one out of 10 did not hurt. Uh, the most painful one was 1 million percent the conch. <laughs> now when it comes to the jewelry, one thing that I would say, when your piercings are healed, um, I would still recommend using high quality jewelry, but when your piercings are healed, you can kind of play around a little more. But if you're getting pierced with like piercing jewelry that already kind of looks cool, you know, like my star garland over here or the lightning bolt, then you have to definitely make sure that the jewelry is like gold or titanium uh something that is like a solid metal just because you don't want your fresh open wound to have something like stainless steel 
it just doesn't cut it anymore. I remember when stainless steel was like, oh my god, you have to use stainless steel, and then people were wondering why their piercings were getting infected and stuff. That's what my piercer told me, and um, this piercing up here, she did not source it for me. I actually got the Star Garland again from Stone and Strand, and I double checked with her as well. I sent her the link, made sure that it was okay. This is 14 karat solid gold, but I would probably just recommend letting your piercer source the jewelry for you if you're unsure and then the other ones I got directly from the shop so so why did I get so many piercings at the same time well uh, the reason I got so many piercings at the same time is because I'm impatient <laughs> I, I probably wouldn't recommend getting so many piercings at the same time because unless like you're not gonna be able to sleep uh, unless you're a back sleeper like I I have a pillow. I recommended the pillow by Caitlin Polowski. Not personally, I don't know her, but it's not the exact pillow, but it's one that's very, very similar. Um, basically, I, if you're gonna get multiple piercings, then you need to get a pillow like this. Ta-da! She's got makeup stains on it, but as you can see right here, this pillow has a hole in the middle of it right here, and this is to, so you can sleep on your side again, and you can just put your ear in this little hole so it doesn't hurt. Um, they don't always look like this. You can get ones that look like regular pillows that just have a hole in it, but I tried one of those, and I, find, and I found it really uncomfortable, and I couldn't like get my ear in there properly for some reason. So I got this one from Amazon and I like the shape because you can kind of like hold on to it as well and it just kind of makes it feel like you're being hugged. I don't know, I like this pillow a lot, but any pillow that has a hole in it, you genuinely can sleep on both sides and it does not hurt whatsoever, in my opinion. I, in my experience, I haven't had it hurt. And of course, just do what you're supposed to do when it comes to the aftercare and use the saline. Do what they tell you to do. Make sure to keep them clean and free of any like crusties that could like build up around there. Yeah, it's just basically just common sense. Uh, yeah, you guys, that has been my curated piercings video. I am fully completed with my ears now. I'm done, I'm very happy about it. And yeah, I really hope that you did enjoy this video. If you are on your ear creation or curation journey, let me know in the comments what you plan on getting. If you've already done your ear curation, let me know as well. Just leave me a comment telling me anything because I would love to know that. But again, I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, then go ahead and click up the like button for me and then subscribe if you want to. And ding the little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload. And you guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!